Hey, welcome to Mullen Stock. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads. And also remember that this is not a financial advice video. Mullen Automotive stock market closing price decreased by 7.02%, and there was a slight drop in trading volume, with 45.44 million shares traded, compared to the average options activity of 61. In terms of options activity, there were $92.7 thousand dollar worth of calls purchased, and $60,000 thousand dollars worth of puts. Based on this activity, it appears to be slightly more bullish compared to the previous day, and there are some hopeful signs. Regarding the news, Molnam Automotive has initiated deliveries of Class 3 EV. It's a positive development that they've started deliveries and have also disclosed the expected number of deliveries, which will be part of their Q3 earnings. It's reasonable to assume that these deliveries will likely impact their Q4 earnings since their financial year ends on September 30th. But the negative aspect of this is that it does not mention how many cars they have produced. I assume that some people might be thinking that this is perhaps their first month of production, and they should be given some time for that. That's a valid point, and I completely understand. One thing that this report doesn't tell us is how many cars they have actually produced. I've noticed that some people are interpreting this report correctly, just by saying that 10 vehicles are being delivered, but the actual production quantity hasn't been mentioned. So I understand that this is an X factor that we don't have. Brad has told Randy Marion that they have produced more, but it's still unclear why it hasn't been mentioned in the PR. I asked Thomas from NGT, and because they are getting these 10 and 3, it seems like they are going to their actual facility in North Carolina, and they are not going to outfitters for customization. He mentioned that they received a call today about the payment, so the delivery is on track for this quarter, possibly within the next half. In my opinion, this is quite good news. Maybe they will even record when the M3 arrive at their facility, so that would be pretty cool to see. However, people's opinions on this news are still divided with some liking it and others not. What are your thoughts on it? Please share your comments. Alan has stated that those who are obviously part of the Coke Council lawsuit, when it comes to shorts, they will give you an overview of what they have done today. So looking at it this way, the short score is currently 78, and the utilization is 87.94. What the shorts have done today is showing a zero, so I don't know if this is some kind of vortex glitch. You can check the Charts app for more information, it doesn't seem like any real abnormal activity is happening. After hours, they have returned some shares, which is a bit strange because that doesn't usually happen. So perhaps zero is correct, but it's evident that this is a glitch. I have provided some updates throughout the day, and the last time I updated, shorts had increased by about 900,000 shares in the last part of the day. Shorting is at 21.01% of the free flow, with a total of 36.6 million shares shorted. The cost of borrow which has been fairly average for the past few days, is 22.08. Interactive brokers also display the number of shorts. In the grand scheme of things, the approximately 400,000 shares around availability don't seem significant at all, mainly because there are a total of 36.6 million shares in short positions overall. What are your thoughts on this news? From my perspective, what might have happened with Mullen, and what is your opinion on their total revenue for key four earnings, which is going to be released in a few days? If they deliver as expected, it could amount to $630,000 for M3, and I believe that they might also be delivering three or four M1 campuses under the pilot program, which would contribute to a smaller revenue. Additionally, I recall there are 22 Mullen Go electric vehicles as well, so I've estimated that the revenue for this quarter could be around $800,000, but please note that this is just my rough estimate. What are your thoughts on this? Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about Mullen stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.